Lions hunt either alone or collaboratively. Collective hunting normally involves the males moving toward the committed prey to propel it toward lionesses hiding in the bush. Lions are not as fast as most of their prey so they depend heavily on the element of surprise when hunting. They do not tend to have a long chase and will not follow their prey very far if the first attack fails. In a victorious hunt, the prey is knocked off balance, pulled down, and then stopped or clipped with a bite to the back of the neck or the throat. In other cases, this clip can be a bloody, drawn-out technique. Buffalo have been known to watch over lion attacks for hours before giving in to lose the battle and lose blood and energy. Lions sometimes become the targets of their planned prey. There have been instances in which lions have been clipped by buffalo, snakes, and even porcupines. Lions have a wide diet with 36 kinds of animals. Their preferences for buffalo, giraffe, and zebra among the biggest animals. Lions especially eat large animals that weigh from 100 to 1,000 pounds, that is 45 to 454 kilograms. Territories may be defended busily by both males and females, but there are instances when their points of pride claim the same overlapping hunting zone yet gradually avoid confrontation. Clashes fall out between the prides when struggle motion force lions to move beyond their territories in search of food, or when roaming males challenge pride hierarchies. Battles can take the form of symbolic attack displays or vicious physical clashes that usually result in the death of one or more participants. Lionesses naturally give birth to two and four cubs. They are kept hidden in the bush for about six weeks. During this moment, the lioness hunts just for her cubs. Males provide no help. By the time they are two years old, the cubs would have to learn to hunt for themselves. Male cubs are ignored from the pride while females are nurtured within it. These young males usually form groupings of wanderer bachelors and either find new habitats or challenge males in living pride and so the cyclical struggle for supremacy goes on. Both sexes are polygamous and breed throughout the year, but females are usually forbidden to the one or two adult males of their pride. Newborn cubs are powerless and blind and have a depth coat with dark spots that naturally disappear with maturity. Cubs can follow their mothers at about three months of age and are free of depending on their mothers by six or seven months. They begin taking part in clipping by 11 months but probably cannot survive on their own until they are two years old. Although lionesses will nurse cubs other than their own, they are surprisingly preoccupied mothers and usually leave their cubs alone for up to 24 hours.